Hi, it's Miles Red Songbird in New York City. I'm going to um, read some news to you, mainstreaming true news to you. Only I'm not uh, reading what somebody told me to say. I'm reading what I have figured out with my Einstein mind. I hope, this is my hope, I hope we can keep the physical forms of good beings and things created for eternity. Eternity decoded. Extra terrestrial Eve R N I sex, which means pleasure, travel to Earth. Formed Thai Duty Thai Daughter You Traveled. Eye, ear, nose, mouth, true identity, Eve. So it's just saying that Eve um, traveled to the earth and she traveled through the uh, orifices, the ear, the eye, the nose, the mouth. Okay, and it says, uh, so her true identity is Eve, her memory, reality, her reality, Eve, Evangeline, Einstein, Adam, will, pleasure, Ty, I, willed me to be entity will present will to Eve energy Adam assures reality that's reality okay I willed me that's Adam talking to be entity evolved to be a part pa art humanity part ape ap a part because he willed himself to be an entity, and the entity was an ape, and he became self-conscious before he became a man, when he was an ape, and he freaked out because he was alone, and Eve heard him freaking out, and she traveled to, um, like, an RN to rescue him. She was an extraterrestrial from the sun. And she came to earth, the dirt, to rescue him. Okay, so he willed himself to be an entity and um, part, art, a part, a p art, a p ear root, man, he see truth, engineer, a lot of men are engineers, engine steer, Eve, energy her. I think I can, I think I can. I make a plan. I count the grains of sand. Sand decoded. C N daughter of the sun. Angel Evangeline with abundant light and energy. The daughter of the sun has abundant light and energy. She can see what the children need. He can see what she wants to be, came to, she wants to come to be. She can see what her man's plan, she can understand. You enter daughter energy, Adam. 
Vadasami, Saint Anne, Tan, Angel, Evangeline Einstein, daughter of the giver of light, life, life decoder, will, Isaac's pleasure, feeds energy, will feeds energy, no, will pleases, feeds energy. <clears throat> Pleasure will feed energy. Ah, that's life secret. Not pain will feed life's energy, but pleasure will feed energy. The more pleasure, the more energy. Because pleasure feeds pleasure will feed energy to pleasure causes your will to activate and feed your energy. When you are unhappy, when you have the opposite of pleasure, you're, you're lethargic, you have no energy. Hopes. The Jews think they are a group. The Jews think Gentiles are animals. I got this from a Jewish show I saw on the internet. Um, I hope the Jews nor Muslims control Christianity. I hope the Babylonian Talmud is ended. That's the one that talks about making the Gentiles into slaves. I hope the West wakes up to what the Jews really think of Gentiles. I hope Jesus Christ ends Judaism and Islam and Christianity. The Talmud teaches Gentiles exist to serve the Jews. The Jews want to enslave the Gentiles. As far as Christianity is concerned, the Catholic Church persecutes truth tellers like Galileo. The Jesuits pledge allegiance to the Pope. 30% of the Jesuits are homosexuals, abomination. A lot of the Catholics are alcoholics. They work in the daytime and drink in the nighttime. Islam wants to behead those who won't convert to Islam. So you see how awful these religions are. I hope Jesus Christ, Govinda Singh, establishes a Satamat as the one and only religion in the world. It has very few rules. It is a faith shaped by true saints who talk and share, including creators. The Michelle Birds, the creators of talk and share. Yeah. The Michelle Bird song, guided by Charon Singh, first and twentieth century Jesus Christ, practiced by Charon Singh, Jesus Christ, and practiced by Gurinder Singh, twenty first century Jesus Christ. Recipients of Talk and Share Robin Birdsong, who was Galileo, Singh Birdsong, who was King Saul, Melanie L. Spear, Vincent, who was Vincent van Gogh, Michael Spear, who was Albert Spear the Nazi. All the above had death wishes. Some had a death pattern. They had committed suicide in a past life. By God's grace, intense talk and share therapy and lots of love and attention kept their wills to live triumphant over the mind's pull to negativity. Death. Satan. Source at eating, anger, danger, animal passion, eating animal passion, eating animal bodies, desire to gnash them, gash them, lash them, trash them. This is what comes when you eat an animal body. Flatten him, mash him. This is what it make you want to do. Stall him, maul him, gall him, paw him. Crush him, rush him, stop him. Talking about your fellow, your fellow human being. This is what you want to do when you eat animal. 
Okay, new topic. Tesla, who was Eve, said, if you want to understand the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. Tesla decoded true Eve energy. See will of Adam. Okay, so you got Eve's energy and Adam's will. Tesla knew how to increase free energy according to natural sources of power. Increase, I think that is. Natural sources of power and turning it into usable, warm energy. Without, I must have been tired when I wrote this. <laughs> without costs and without carbon dioxide. I hope that people who've been suppressing this knowledge of free energy decade after decade lose their power to suppress this knowledge any longer. I hope all people force forces planning to or are actually during doing harm to the people of and to the universe are ended and arrested and jailed or are sent back to the lower realms as soon as possible, ex executed, executed where they do us no further harm. And then see if they're executed, they'll go to the animal region realm and become animals. And we can protect ourselves from animals because we can see that they're animals in human forms. These negative powers and forces are trick us because we think they're human beings yeah, and really, really they're animals harming us. I hope that it is possible for the son, his son and daughter and her husband Adam Buble to protect themselves and the world from any and all of this and all of their enemies. I hope military technologies is no longer used to manipulate the weather and those who continue to plan or try to manipulate weather are sent back to the lower, lower realms where they can do us no further harm. Sent back as soon as possible. Must see YouTube video. My stream includes to you. The day a TV reporter thought debunking David Icke would be easy. It's on the David Icke channel. It's a very good interview. Excellent interview. This is what you Google. The day a TV reporter thought debunking David Icke would be easy. And you'll get a real treat. Lots of uncommon information but critical information to your survival. The information you perceive leads your behavior, hence censorship. Seth has been the founder of the Dara and a disciple of Tulsi Sahib who taught Satmat. I had been Tulsi Sahib. Seth is my grandson. Seth's mother this life, Melanie L. Spear, had been Seth's wife when he had been Sami G of Agra. And he um, came to the Dara, saw the, uh, lots of evil spirits, and he meditated in solitude, just taking pee breaks and to eat breaks for 17 years, and he purified the Dara. And, um, yeah, I was say, I'm looking as if I have a picture. I don't have a picture over here of the Dara. She said, this is Dara up there. Can you see all those people? That's how it's been developed since Sami G, Seth, founded it. People, the neighbors wouldn't even come to that property. It has such evil spirits before he purified it. She said to me once of Seth, that's his wife of in another life. Now his mother said, isn't he awesome? So apparently I was, I was, so apparently I was insane. 
This is a new topic, obviously. I want to sing now alone in this room to see how I sound, to see if I sound ludicrous to myself. But I'm censoring myself. I'm stopping myself. I'm exhausted and I'm censoring myself. My throat is constricted. When I was Fritz Perls, the German psychiatrist, in partnership with my wife, I concluded that being in touch with reality is being in touch with being one in the present moment. And that insanity is being out of context, acting out my unconscious impressions and grooves from past lives moments was insane, out of context. In other words, I'm a girl. If I was being, say, Tesla and not realizing it, being unconscious, that means I was being a boy. I was being out of contact, so I feel insane. See, you have to, uh, when you're conscious, you can do that. I can say, well, this is the Einstein in me figuring out these problems. You see, so when you're con con being conscious is the answer. So I was out of context and congruous with my environment. My mother said, ignorance is bliss. I find ignorance to have been hell, it, meaning unconsciousness have been hell. It is understanding logos that is helpful. Logos I find to be heavenly. And as far as ignorance is bliss is concerned, I know what she's talking about. I figured it out last night or it came to me last night. When you're in the ocean of light, you are high, as high as you can be. You're so high you don't know who you are, just like you were a heroin addict. They don't know who they are when they're high, right? So that's ignorance. That's and and yet they feel bliss. That's why they're addicted to doing the drugs. The same thing in the ocean of light in the spiritual heaven. The souls there are so high, they are not aware of their individuality. They're not aware of anything except that feeling of bliss. So in that sense, ignorance is bliss. But wow, my mother had to be very evolved to know that. Because that's not something that's readily explainable. Because on the face of it, being ignorant is quite dangerous. And uh, it makes you a victim. Knowledge is power, therefore the lack of knowledge or ignorance is no power. Okay, now these are some of the uh, things that are owed Eve. She's owed uh, energy. Because uh, I figured it out the other day. Well, because her father... Her father, father is a son, is an energy, and she's his heir, H-E-I-R. So this is just some of what she's owed. There was a, I had a pages of it. I don't know where, somewhere in these stacks of paper here. Uh, Royal Dutch Shell owes me $265 billion because these people owe what they have. They took this oil this energy from the ground as though it belonged to them and it didn't. It belonged to the sun and his heir, Eve, Mary, the Michelle Bird song, Mild Red Songbird, owns the energy. Kuwait Petroleum, $251.94 billion. BP, British Petroleum, $222.8 billion. Total Saudi Arabia, $212 billion. Luke Oil, whoever that is, $144.17 billion. Eni, $131.82 billion. 50 major oil companies owe Eve their worth because they've been stealing um, the sun's energy from the earth selling it and not paying uh, anything to his heir because they didn't know his heir. She hadn't stepped up yet. So now she's stepping up. The